Hi guys, I'm Piala Vidal Tinaza, the leader of the group. On this video, we will be discussing to you our research topic titled Navigation Skills. The basic navigation techniques to the maritime students under that department. In order for us to understand better to our topic, my group mates will discuss further to you each chapter in this regard. The following will be our guide questions. So, number one, what is navigation? Number two, how important navigation is? Number three, what are the different navigational techniques? Number four, how and when do we use these techniques? Number five, why is there a need of maritime students to be familiar with these techniques? And lastly, Number six, how does the new navigational techniques differ from the old one? Navigation derived from the Latin words navis meaning ship and agere meaning to drive. It is a process of accurately determining the position and controlling the movement of a craft or vehicle along a desired course. Navigation is the art and science of determining the position of a ship, plane, or other vehicle and guiding the specific destination. Navigation requires a person to know the vehicle's relative location or position compared to other known locations. In open sea maritime navigation, it is important for the ship officer to know the vessel's accurate position, speed, and heading to ensure the vessel reaches the destination in the safest, most economical and timely manner that conditions will permit. There are many different navigation techniques, celestial navigation, dead reckoning, inertial navigation, and electronic navigation. One can either determine location based on a previous location, dead reckoning, or based on some sort of object, star, landmark, or buoy. Some commonly used tools are the compass, GPS, radar, and sextant. Navigator must be familiar with the different constellations at different times of the year, as well as the different constellations in the North and Southern Hemisphere. Therefore, celestial navigation, also known as astronavigation, is a must to study. For sailors, celestial navigation is a step up from dead reckoning. This technique uses the stars, moon, sun, and horizon to calculate position. It is very useful on the open ocean where are there no landmarks. Now, you already know the definition of navigation and its importance. However, we still need to know the different techniques to navigation. Modern navigation systems are part of a tightly coordinated and widely integrated transportation system in which each vessel must be responsible for staying on course, avoiding collisions, minimizing fuel consumption, and keeping on schedule. Modern navigation systems make use of many traditional tools such as compasses, charts, instruments, but over the past century, radio beacons, satellite networks, and global positioning systems have been relied upon with increasing frequency to determine a ship's position. The most common navigation methods are dead reckoning and radar navigation. Dead reckoning, pilotage, celestial navigation, inertial navigation, radio navigation, radar navigation, satellite navigation. On the other hand, for the old techniques, the navigator uses the shape of landmarks along the coast and the direction of the coastline with inertial navigation. You use mention sensors to calculate your new position relative to the starting position. Old methods are less accurate than GPS, but they are pretty darn close enough. Celestial navigation can be very accurate if you do it right. Old school methods are great backup and also called to learn. They're always available during solar flares, outages, some even without equipment. However, we can use all kinds 
of navigation system, the most used on modern day boats. Let's proceed with the different techniques which are the line of position, whether in this position fix, position by visual bearing of two objects, and so on. Lines of position. The lines of position or LOP is a line that is plotted on the chart on which the boat lies. Radar ranges. Radar is different and pretty neat because it only needs one object to get pretty accurate position. Position fixing interval. The maximum interval between two position fixes. There are many methods by which we can get a fix of the ship's position. Position by visual bearing of two objects. If we have two objects that are visible from the ship, the bearing of these two can get us the ship's position. Position by running fix. Even when there is only one object visible for visual bearing, we can still get the position. The method is called running fix. Parallel indexing. Parallel indexing is a fantastic tool for monitoring the ship's position. Estimated position. An estimated position is based upon whatever incomplete navigational information is available, such as single LOP, a series of depth soundings correlated to chart or charted depths or a visual observation of the surroundings. Dead reckoning. Dead reckoning is a technique to determine a ship's approximate position by applying to the last established charted position a vector or a series of vectors representing throw courses and speed through the water. Running fix. Under certain circumstances such as low visibility, only one line of position can be obtained at a time. In this event, a line of position obtained at an earlier time may be advanced to the time of the later LOP. Danger bearing, like dead reckoning. The danger bearing is an important tool to keep the ship out of harm's way. First, the navigator identifies the limits of safe navigable water and determines a bearing to, for instances, a major light. Turn bearing. Similar to the danger bearing and dead reckoning, the turn bearing is constructed in the chart in advance and should likewise be used as a means of anticipation for sailing out of safe waters. Fixed by depth soundings doubled angle fix, R fix, 4 point fix, R fix. Special angle fix and R fix. The special angle fix requires the mariner to know some special pairs of angles that give the distance travel between bearings as equal to distance abim, perpendicular to the course line, distance of the horizon. On a flat world, there would be no difference between the visible and sensible horizon. Deeping range, the object's elevation, the height, of a light above CD or chart datum can be found in the chart or other nautical publication such as the essential list of lights. Vertical sextants angle. Similarly, a distance LOP can be obtained by using a sextant to measure the angle between, for instance, the light and chart datum of a lighthouse or any other structure of known elevation. Parallax method. The most obvious way to estimate distance is by exploiting our stereo. Vision to create parallax. Single eye method. A second method is to use one eye and the dimension of your thumb. Fist or fingers. As explained in this video, measuring angles with your hand by holding your hand at arm's length. Make the various shape below to approximate the angles between objects or the edge of a single object in degrees. Compass bearings. Getting a compass bearing is easy. You find a point on a chart you can see on the horizon and you point your compass at it. Terrestrial range. If you don't have a compass, 
you can still find your direction by using two landmarks or objects. GPS, the easiest and most accurate way to pinpoint a location is by using satellites. A GPS receiver calculates the distance from multiple satellites. Echo sounder. An echo sounder is a sonar that's used to determine the water depth. It uses sound waves and measure the delay of the reflection. And light dipping. Mariners should be aware that there are more than just a digital version of a paper chart. Important bridge procedures are significantly affected, and this requires careful analysis. It is important that traditional navigation skills are not lost and that navigators become not overconfident. Maritime academies is maintaining the skill of traditional navigation and the addition of new skills required by use the modern technology and the requirement of the labor market to consolidate the concept and new skill that must be acquired by mariners during the stage study. All the division of chart work on both types of paper charts and electronic charts. The student learned the traditional chart work and its application on an electronic chart to prepare a generation of navigators, able to interact with modern technology and labor market requirements. Based on the information presented, there are different techniques of plotting. A position to ensure the vessel reach its destination in safest, most economical, timely manner that condition will permit. Most of the seafarer perceive safety navigating by using appropriate and effectively. Navigating with the new and modern technology is fundamentally different from navigating with paper charts. It makes voyage planning easier. It's possible to make errors. However, these are likely to be different type those environment when using paper charts. On the other hand, the employment of new technologies has limitation and will introduce risks that must be recognized. So that's all for the video. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye!